Good afternoon, everybody. We are um, picking it up in chapter 55 of Isaiah today, and uh, we're continuing on with the um, promises of our Lord, which are precious. So, ho, oh, and ho here is like, listen, hearken, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters, and he that hath no money. Come ye, buy and eat, yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread? Why are you, what do you waste your money on? And your labor for that which satisfieth not. Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delighteth, delighteth itself in fatness. Incline your ear and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. And here, um, with sure mercies of David, it's also translated the loving kindnesses that were assured to David, or the everlasting covenant. And I was going to go read you a little bit of that from um, 2 Samuel in the Old Testament. Uh, 2 Samuel verse 8. And this, these are, this is the everlasting covenant to David. So, Now therefore, so shalt thou say unto my servant David, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I took thee from the sheep coat, from following the sheep, to be ruler over my people, over Israel. And I was with thee, whithersoever thou wentest, and I have cut off all thine enemies out of thy sight, and I have made thee a great name, like unto the name of the great men that are in the earth. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel, and will plant them, that they may dwell in a place of their own, and move no more. Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them any more, as before time." What a glorious day that will be. And as since the time that I commanded judges to be over my people Israel and have caused thee to rest from all thine enemies, also the Lord telleth thee that he will make thee a house. And when thy days be fulfilled and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. And that's talking about Christ, because Christ did, he was a descendant of David. That's the key of David. He came through that um, birth line. And he shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the, tr the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, which he didn't, I will chasten him with the rod of men and with the stripes of the children of men. But my mercy shall not depart away from him, as I took it from Saul, whom I put away before thee. And thine house and thy kingdom shall be established forever before thee. Thy throne shall be established forever. And that's still true to this day. Um, we're going to pick it back up here in verse 4 of chapter 55. Behold, I have given him for witness to the people, talking about Jesus, a leader and commander to the people. And remember again, 700 years this was written before Christ. Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and nations that knew not thee shall run into thee because of the Lord thy God and for the Holy One of Israel, for he hath glorified thee. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. I like that. Abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. You'll never fully understand his, his purposes. And there's a purpose of it in everything for our God. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. 
For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Isn't that beautiful? Just like the rain, his word is is showering his people to bring them bring him back in bud. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'm going to finish this because there's just two more verses. For ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree, and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle tree. And it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Beautiful, beautiful chapters we are in here, my loved ones. Um, hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday. Love and blessings to you. And um, we will pick it up in chapter 56 tomorrow. Bye.